This video is gonna cover four different ways to get samples inside of MPC Beats. Stay tuned and check it out. What's up, welcome to the video. So I've been doing a few videos about MPC Beats and working with samples. I wanna show you a way that you can pull different samples inside of MPC Beats. I wanna show you four different ways. The first one I'm sure that you've already experienced is you can go to the MPC Beats browser and pull in samples. So let me go ahead and show you that. So if you look right here, MPC Beats has this expansion browser, right? So if you look at the bottom of MPC Beats, we have a media browser, we have this expansion browser, and then we have the file browser. And then if I click right here where it says samples, it's gonna open it up so you can actually see different samples that are contained within the key group programs or the drum programs. So you have a lot of options available to you. So you look at all of these samples, and then that's just from these expansions. Okay, now if I go over to the expansion browser, it's just gonna show the programs and samples from that particular one. You can kinda go through these samples and pick out which ones you want. So you get a ton of samples in here. Now this is the actual you know, free version of this that comes with MPC Beats, right? And you got your producer kits, et cetera. You got your samples in here. And then if you want, you actually can go to your own samples by clicking the file browser and then you can see right here these are from my c drive all right these are my own personal samples then i can actually go to different drives so i actually have a removable drive right here mpc 002 in this drive i actually take it you know and put it on my different npcs so i can use it on my npc one and then i can take it over and use it on npc software and then you know i could just take it to my different npcs and then save projects onto it and save samples onto this external hard drive so i want to show you a second way is that you can actually look on your computer and use the file browser on your computer to do this because you're actually able to bring in files directly from your computer so i'm going to go into my computer here i'm going to go right into that external hard drive and then i want to go into my samples and say i want to pull in a cymatic sample and then let's say i want to pull in one of these samples here i could literally take it from here and then drag it into the project and what that's going to do is going to load up inside of the project so let me show you that if i click over here where it says all samples there it is right there now, if you didn't know, this is your sample pool. So, so if you're on the main mode right here where it says samples, these are all the samples that are in the project. So I can load up as many samples as I want right there. All right, so that's the second way is to actually use your file browser on your computer. Third way I wanna talk about is you can actually use third party plugins like Splice and Loop Cloud to pull samples in. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna open up Loop Cloud. If you don't know, Loop Cloud is a place where you can browse different samples and actually you know, purchase samples, but they do have free samples on there as well. So if I show you, if I go to home and click over here, here are some free ones. So if you want to, I'll leave a link in the description for this Loop Cloud browser and you can get some free samples, but it also does this. Let me show you this. If I click library right here, it's gonna have samples that are in my library from Loop Cloud, but I could put my own samples in here. And the good thing about using this is, say for example, if I wanna to go to this platinum pack right here and then uh, you know preview some samples, I can do that. You can see down here. I can browse and preview samples directly from this right here. And it's really cool that you could do that right here. It makes it a little bit more organized. And once I find a sample, say I want to actually pull in the sample, I can click on it and just pull it right into the software. Okay. But I'm finding a lot of value in this. Um, I actually did sign up for a free trial. Uh, you get like 30 days for free. So I'll let you know what I think in the future about this, but even if you download the free version, it's a good way to organize your samples and you can audition them right here and bring them in to MPC Beats. Fourth way I wanna share in this video is you can actually use your audio interface to sample pretty much anything that you want to inside of MPC Beats. That's what's so great about the MPC is it is a sampler and you can put any sound that you want in there and you can manipulate it however you want within the MPC Beats software. So if you look right here, I have my Focusrite 2i2 and it's connected to my turntable here. Um, and I can just basically 
drop this needle on here, okay, and record. So if I come over here, click here, go to sampler, and, you know, set my inputs, press R, I'm going to drop that. I can record right in there and then stop it. And, you know, let's go ahead and keep that sample. If you look, I have a sample right there. And I could do that with anything. I could do that with a guitar, a bass, a drum kit, my vocals, and you can make pretty much any instrument that you want. That's the fourth way I wanted to share with you on how to get samples inside of MPC Beats. Go ahead and click or tap the screen over here to take you to a playlist that's going to contain more videos about MPC Beats and using samples. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. My name is Matthew. Continue to create music and we'll talk soon.